said it was theirs. But I found that because it was with me in class day after day, that I could actually do some activities with it. So at very low levels, I could do things like passing it around among students, and we could say, have you got the jewel? Has, has uh, Maria got the jewel? Where is the jewel? You could actually use it as the focus for drilling. And then there's lots of other ideas started to suggest themselves. For example, a role play in a hotel where one student who was a guest in the hotel had to go to reception and say that their jewel had been stolen and then the hotel had to organize a search for the, the jewel. Planning a robbery of a jewelry shop. There's lots of ideas started to come from this idea. It, it became the reward. It became the reward for, for quizzes. When we had a quiz in class, the winning team, I would very, very seriously award them this little jewel as the prize, and they were allowed to keep the jewel for, for one week until the next quiz. Um, so I'm not suggesting that you need to get a valuable jewel. All I'm trying to do is I'm pointing out how sometimes something unexpected can be the source of inspiration for a teacher's creativity. I didn't plan to do anything with this jewel. It was just there, and it became creative because it was there. And I imagine lots of teachers have found something like that in their teaching career, where something unexpected became a, 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 a useful classroom tool. Um, and I, I, I think being creative as teachers doesn't necessarily mean doing great big imaginative projects and things. Sometimes being creative as a teacher just means doing something very small using a very small idea like that.